Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So I just wanted to wish uh, all the students who have their S1 exam tomorrow uh, very good luck and uh, hopefully all the content, every live stream that I've done, you benefited from it. Uh, just a couple of things that I want to say and uh, number one that is do a quick stationary check, make sure that you have a pencil, scale, eraser, sharpener, uh, pen, uh, make sure that you have a nice and sharp pencil because since it's S1 you may uh, there may be a question on statistical diagrams, so you're going to need a pencil for that. Pencil, scale, eraser, sharpener, all that stuff. And all the other necessary stuff, you know, statement of entry, smart card and whatnot. You've given so many exams by now, so I'm sure you would know. Uh, secondly, what I would like to say is that at this point, you should disconnect yourself from social media. You know, there may be rumors about leaks and um, I'm not saying that there is one, but there may be rumors. So all that stuff is it's, it's irrelevant, really. Uh, so just just um, if you if you can disconnect yourself, that's great. If uh, in fact you should disconnect yourself, you know that's that's what I always recommend my students at this point because uh, you you don't really you want to be in a peaceful state of mind. You don't want to be in a haphazard state of mind. So disconnect yourself, and if you really feel like studying, if you can't sleep, then what I would suggest is just go over your notes at max. Go over some of the papers that you've solved. Go over some of the errors that you made in the past. So you know you're mentally aware of them. And uh, when you're solving the paper, so a bit of uh, paper attempting technique also that I would like to share. So see, some, some topics are quite straightforward, as in they're very reliant on a formula. There's not a lot of thinking that you have to do. You just have to read the question, extract information, and then solve. You know, it's like, like for example, uh, when it comes to statistical diagrams, you just have to read the information, you know, figure out what diagram it is that you have to draw, and just, you know, if it's a histogram, find out all the relevant uh, uh, find out all the relevant stuff that will go into a histogram, the relevant points, if it's a cumulative frequency curve, same goes for that. If it's a histogram, you know, pretty much the same thing. So these are very straightforward. I mean, there's not a lot of thinking involved. There are not a lot of variations. There's not a lot of if, if or if this or if that. So these are straightforward questions, you know. And uh, these you will find from topics such as uh, statistical diagrams, measures of central tendency or measures of spread, you know, where you have to find out the mean, median, mode quartile, standard deviation, variance, so not a lot of thinking, you don't, you don't have to sit and think and sort of absorb the question, you just have to extract important information and then solve. Same goes for uh, even normal distribution, I mean if you've solved and you know you will only agree with me if you've solved enough questions, so if you, if you look at majority of the normal distribution questions, you just have to extract data, plug it in the relevant formula, read the table and that's it. So start by doing these questions so that you can get your confidence level high and you know that you won't have to, you won't end up wasting a lot of time thinking because like I said, there's no thinking involved over here. And you know, in some cases, that's also true for binomial and also for geometric distribution. So these are topics, I'll name them again, statistical diagrams, measures of central tendency, measures of spread, which is basically mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, stuff like that, quartiles. And then you have normal distribution and then binomial distribution, geometric distribution. Sometimes the question is merged. Uh, there is a question on binomial as well as geometric and usually there's a question on binomial and then there is a question on normal. So once again, these are quite straightforward questions. If that is the case, if there's a question binomial, which is then followed by normal, do not forget about continuity correction. Uh, you can download my notes. It's mentioned there, mentioned, I've mentioned it with the scenarios. Uh, but you know, if, if at the start of the paper you feel like there's something that you're going to forget, usually it's the continuity correction cases or sometimes it's the geometric distribution formulas, then just write it immediately. As soon as you get the paper, just write it using a pencil, pen, whatever, whatever it is that you're likely to forget, okay? Now, a couple of uh, stuff about rounding off. In fact, before that, there are, uh, there are uh, topics of which you can check your answer. So you can check... Uh, Normal distribution, I've, I've done it uh, I've, in all my normal distribution streams. I've taught how to use your calculator to check normal distribution answers. There is also a way that you can do binomial if uh, you have the time, if you find the time, maybe watch a video or two. I don't have a video on it sadly, but you can watch some other video on it. And there's also a way actually that you can find out the mean of uh, the mean of um, the mean of uh, group data and even ungrouped data. But once again, I mean, if you if you have the time, if you don't feel, if you don't have anything else to do right now, only then watch these videos. But if you don't know, that's perfectly all right. And just make sure that whatever it is that you're using your calculator for, you're using it to only to check your answer. You have to show all the working. So whether it's normal distribution, whether you're solving two equations simultaneously, binomial, whatever it is, you have to show your working. And then as a benefit, you know, as 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 a bonus, you can use your calculator and make sure that you've done it correctly. Okay, now. Regarding uh, rounding off, there has been a lot of debate about that also. So remember, the standard practice is correct to three significant figures, but only something that is not exact. Huh? However, 
Uh, if let's say you have a question, uh, you have a, a solution which is written in fraction form, then it's best that you leave it in fraction form because this eliminates the whole debate about whether you should round it off or not. Okay, so if it's in fraction form, just your calculator naturally will give it to you in fraction form. If it is, if it can be in fraction form, then write it that write it like that only. Because when you write it in decimal, then the whole uh, the whole confusion just kicks in whether you should round it off correct to three significant figures or not. Uh, just make sure that throughout you're reading the question carefully so that in case a question has a specific requirement, you follow that. Okay, and uh, yeah. Just uh, don't waste any time because S1 time can be a problem in S1. Uh, so just make sure that you are, uh, when, you're, when you're solving the paper, think of the time in minutes, not in hours. So if you have an hour and 15 minutes, that means you have 75 minutes to solve the paper, okay? So just don't waste any time. Don't, uh, you know, to, don't see what your friend is doing or what so-and-so person is doing. Just remember, think of it this way, that it's just you and the question paper in the examination hall and that's it. So yeah, uh, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about. And um, once again, I hope all the content that we made at Mathlete, you benefited from it. And I wish you guys once again, the best of luck. Make sure that you get a good night's sleep because you really don't want to be, you really don't want to come, uh, come out of the examination hall and then after a certain point realize that so-and-so was to be done in the question, okay? This, this can happen in probability, permutation, combination. If you need a fully functioning brain. And by the way, uh, something I would like to talk about permutation and combination is that yes, it's a difficult topic. I know a lot of people find it difficult, but remember there's always a certain part of that topic that's difficult okay so and even that part also you can extract some marks god forbid that is i'm not saying that that's how you should prepare for it that's how that that's how uh, you should prepare for it mentally no but i'm just saying god forbid if a question comes which is impossible then still look for how you can extract some marks from it so for example if let's say there's a question which involves probability now maybe if you find it difficult to find the uh, probability of the fable outcome or number of fable outcomes immediately find out the total outcomes because that will get you some marks so even if you get favorable wrong once you give the final answer you will get some marks from it okay so just like that don't think that just because a so and so question is difficult your entire paper will be compromised no leave that for the very end okay so remember the order in which you should solve first look for statistical diagrams measures of central tendency measures of spread look for normal distribution binomial distribution geometric distribution once you're done with these if you're lucky there may be a pretty straightforward question of probability also but probability i think is sometimes where the examiner sort of uh, likes to make it difficult same goes for discrete random variables and definitely same for permutation and combination okay but just be mentally prepared for some challenging questions but don't let those challenging questions define your entire paper. Okay, so that's it. I will see you guys. I'll still see P3 students, inshallah, in the next couple of uh, streams. Uh, there are a lot of streams uh, lined up, inshallah, for P3. And that's it. End of the road. So take care, everyone. See you guys. Allah Hafiz.